In this video, we're going to be looking at the inverse normal distribution. Now, I'm just going to quickly recap the normal way round before we look at the inverse way. So previously, we had questions like this, where we knew the mean, the standard deviation, and we wanted to work out the probability that x is less than 55, meaning the area to the left of 55. This area here. And of course, you just throw it into your calculator. You put your upper bound as 55 and your lower bound as something to the really left of 55, maybe minus a million. But even if you put zero, you'd be very comfortable. And we just simply get an answer. 0.95221. So basically, we worked out that probability of x less than 55 is 0 0.95221. Again, this is what we've done. We've worked out a question like this, and we've got an answer. And the inverse norm is going to be doing the exact opposite. You're going to have a situation like this, where you've got probability x less than some value, some unknown, but you know the answer this time is 0 0.95221. Of course, this is the exact opposite of what we did, so we know. So you should be able to say what that unknown is. Of course, it's 55. And that's exactly how the inverse works. It does the exact opposite operation. It's when you know the area and you're trying to work out that value. Okay, so let's try out a new question. So we've got the probability x less than some value is 0 0.67. And it's nicely set out how we like it. You don't need to draw a diagram, but I've just shown you here. It's this area. They've told us the actual area is 0 0.67, but we don't know the value. And it's a perfect reverse of what we've been doing. So let's just use the inverse norm function on your calculator. Put the right values in, and we should be able to work out what A is. And it's that simple. We get A as 0 0.88798. Let's try another one. And again, it's the exact reverse of what we've been doing. So you're just simply going to do the inverse norm of this number, 0 0.27. So at the moment, so our A value is somewhere here on the left hand side. We know it's not on the right part of the graph because the area is less than 0 0.5. Because remember the area under the whole graph is one. Now you don't need to draw these diagrams. I just keep doing it to make you have a good feel of the area we're talking about. If the area was something more than 0 0.5, I would have put my A past the midpoint on this graph here. So let's just throw this into our calculator, the inverse norm function, and we get an answer, 26.9359. And of course, this answer does make sense because you can see the mean is 30, and we knew we were on the left-hand side of 30. Okay, so there's something wrong with this question. We can't just be doing the inverse norm as we've been doing. So I'll give you a moment to have a look at it, spot the difference. And hopefully you said, it says x is more than a. It's talking about the area to the right of a. And we've always been doing inverse norm of the area to the left of a. So the calculator will not do it as it is. We need to make a change to help work out what a is. So as it is, the diagram's like this. We know the area to the right of a. And the area to the right of a is something small, less than 0.5. So I know a is on the right hand side of the diagram. So we need to change it to this situation. And I've given you a diagram to help you work out what it must be. We don't need to use our calculator to do this. If we know that the area to the right of A is 0 0.19, we should be able to say what the area to the left of A is without too much trouble. So I'll give you a moment to figure it out. And hopefully you said 0 0.81 because the area underneath the curve adds up to one. Because remember the area does represent the probability. The area, probability, same thing. And now we're ready to go. It's one of those reverse situations. And we just throw it into our calculator. You can do the inverse norm of 0 0.81. And it's as simple as that. We've got our answer, 133.1684. And that value is on the right hand side of 120, which is the mean. 
which makes sense according to our diagram. Now let's do one more. This time I'm not going to draw any diagrams. Okay, so you should realize it's not how we like it. So we can make a quick change. If the area to the right of A is 0 0.6729, we can work out the area to the left of A. And hopefully you've got the same value as me, 0 0.3271. Now we're ready to go. Just start your calculator up and put these values in. We're doing the inverse norm of 0 0.3271. And we get our answer, 66.4165. And there we have it. I hope you found that video useful. Support us by liking, subscribing, and share this with your friends. And if you still got some more questions on anything, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where you'll find your questions answered.